welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome and today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the story of my first seizure now i recently did a video of my experience doing a 72 hour ez so if you haven't seen that definitely go watch it and i have talked about my epilepsy before my channel as well but i never really share like my first seizure and things like that i never really open up about that yet so i thought today i would um so I had my first seizure when I was 19 years old but I didn't get diagnosed with epilepsy a call I was 21 when I had like a few more seizure is seizures it's kind of complicated but yeah so going back to 2017 on Father's Day actually yeah, that was when I had my first seizure um it happened Actually, at dinner time, when I was eating food with my family, we were outside on the porch. It was just like a you know normal day, you know Father's Day. You know we were eating. Um, so it was my parents and my brother. Um, so looking back, I am grateful that one, I wasn't alone. Um, and two, when I get on with it um i was sick and gown so we were eating dinner so i was sick and gown which i'm so like grateful for because if i was standing up i would have fell down like there was no gout i would have fell down so yeah um so yeah in the middle of me eating dinner i had this weird feeling now looking back I'm, I believe it was alright, but what is interesting is this wasn't the first time I have experienced this feeling. I have experienced this feeling, you know, a good amount of times throughout my life, but before having this seizure, I didn't realize it was, you know, an aura, or, you know, I didn't realize it was something that, like, is not normal, like, this feeling is not normal that, like, everyone has, like, you know, I didn't realize that. But yeah, I had this strong feeling, you know, eating dinner and like I stopped eating and I was just like, oh my God. Meanwhile, you know, we were having a conversation. I literally remember what we were talking about. Also before I, um, can you on with the story? Yeah, I do remember like all of it because I was conscious. I didn't go unconscious. So I was aware and I was aware of my surroundings. Um. So yeah, I do remember it. Um, I also guess have like a very good memory. So like even if I wanted to forget it, like I can't. Anyway, so what were I saying? So we were just talking about things and then all of a sudden I got this weird feeling and like it happened so fast. It literally happened so fast. But yeah, I guess, you know, one second, you know, I was, in the conversation um what we were talking about and then the next thing um like i had this weird feeling and then i couldn't control my body like i was trying so hard for my body but my like when you have a seizure like you can't like this it doesn't matter how hard you try i think eventually i started leaning this way um to my left side and then my hand started moving and eventually it might actually it took a little bit for you know my family to realize um what was going on because they were talking and I think at one point you know they realized I didn't say something I think my mom actually said something to me like asking something and I didn't answer so she um looked at me and was like oh my god and then that's when my family realized but yeah i couldn't talk like i could hear exactly what was going on like i could hear my brother being like megan can you hear us are you understanding us are you aware of what's going on and i'm just like hearing my parents talking i'm hearing my mom saying oh my god do you have food in your mouth like you know because she doesn't want me a coat choke on that because that would be cannabis so that was another thing like do i have food in my mouth but like you know i think i might have had a little bit in my mouth but like you know all like me being able to chew like kind of stopped like i wasn't able to chew so anyway basically 
So yeah, I was laying this way, my hand, my right hand was shaking. And then my eyes, I remember my mom saying that my eyes were blinking very fast. So that was another thing. Um, so yeah, that, how long, I don't really know how long it lasted. Um, I feel like in the moment it felt like forever, but like in reality, it was probably like no more than a minute. It was fast, but you know, like I said, it felt like it was like a lifetime. But yeah, I was aware. I knew what, knew what they were saying. Like I couldn't understand them. I just couldn't speak. So that was very scary. Um, but like I said in the beginning, I'm so lucky that I was sick and down, um, that I was with my family because if I was standing up and just didn't have anyone, that would be like so scary. Um, especially for my first season since I had no idea what was going on. Um, so yeah, so that's basically what happened. And then after, um, I, you know, it was over and I could talk and I was, you know, able to communicate and tell them, you know, I definitely lost, lost my appetite. Like I was not hungry at all. At first, like I attempted to eat, but then I'm just like, no, like I do not feel good. Um, so the rest of the night actually, so, but then I was like pretty fine, I would say. Um, um, I was just, you know, relaxing, taking it easy, you know, not doing much. But then came the very next day, and that is when the after effects of having a seizure really set in for me. Um, I didn't really have, have a good sleep, like I did not sleep very well. And I actually have said this um, in the EZ video again, like I sleep you know, very well, like most of the time. So for me to not have a good sleep, was unusual, but honestly it made sense since I had a seizure the night before. Um, so yeah, and then it didn't take long, a call quickly. Now this might be like a am I? but I did throw up, I think twice, and that is when I was like, you know what, I don't feel well, like I felt weak, I felt like I had no energy, like I could barely you no, know, like walk. I could barely like sit up and do anything. Um, that is when we went to the emergency room. Um, and I spent the whole day there. Um, it was kind of scary. I feel like you no. Know, after I had my first seizure, I was just getting so scared for a while, and guess not knowing that any second like a seizure might come on and. I can't control that. So that was scary, but yeah, I spent the whole day there. Um, you know, I had an EEG. Um, I believe, you know, that was my first EEG. Yeah, we were just trying to get answers. Although if you've been around and you, and you know, you know my story and everything, I did have a stroke you know, before I was born. So from the beginning, my parents were told, like, I will have an increase in having seizures. So, you know, we always knew that, but like, from, like, guess, you know, growing up and everything, like, I seemed fine. I didn't seem like I was having seizures, but looking back, I feel like I was guess having aurors. Um, but, you know, it was kind of, it's kind of confusing, you know. Honestly, I feel like at the end, the doctors really concluded, like, since I have an increase of having seizure because of my stroke and having a brain injury, um, that is what caused my seizure. So that is basically the story of my first seizure. Looking back, like, yeah, it was scary in the beginning, and it took me a bit to not be so scared because I know for the first like maybe like few months like maybe even three or four months like I was so scared of having another seizure because the doctor doctors literally said when I was in the ER that like this might be you know the only seizure you have in your life or this might just be the first of many um we don't really know, you know, they don't have the answers. So that was very scary to know that this 
since that I had at 19 might be the first of many. And I remember going back to college and that semester and then, you know, after my first season was difficult and I remember living in so much fear because I was so scared of having another season and being alone and not knowing what to do and just knowing that it may come on at any moment. Like it was scary. Um but you know I got through it. But like I've said in other videos, I am on medication so I haven't had a seizure like I did when I was 19 on um, my first like real seizure so I'm so grateful for that but yeah looking back at my first seizure you know I'm so proud of myself for making it through and just getting to the other side of being not afraid and just you know not living in fear because that was me for many months after my first season. But yeah, that is my story. I hope you enjoy. And I, if you have epilepsy, just know you are not alone. You will get through it. Everything will be okay. And just keep going. Try to stay positive. You got this. Yeah, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday and Friday, and you don't want to miss out. Also, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And follow me on social media. My All my social media are linked below. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye.